Um, Chris has kind of quiet tonight with the Dukes who love the first game. His next game, game this one. What was the experience like watching him exploit the pick and roll defense and prepare for it for that back point? Come on, you know, I just did what he did. I mean, you know, I didn't have a doubt about Chris. That's, you know, most of our guys, they're going to have a bad game. I mean, James didn't have a great game tonight, so so what? I mean, you know, it's, it's going to happen, and they'll be snapping back. And when we can get everybody on the good game page, you know, again, we missed a slew of threes, but played great defense, hustled, and that's what you got to do. Yeah, I mean, that kind of opened the dam up a little bit. We were just struggling, and he just, you know, Gerald does that, and he gives us big spark. And then I thought Chris was good the whole game. And, you know, we just, so many guys just played. Nene came in and did a great job. He did it defensively. He was, he was really good. Well, you know, we didn't play very well the first quarter, obviously. and But they're only up five. It's 23 to 18. And then sooner or later, we've got too many guys. That there's Somebody's going to catch fire, uh, you hope. And if not, you lose that game, you go to the next one. But Gerald did it. He came in. We were struggling. And uh, he hit a couple threes, opened it up. Uh, and then once you see the ball go in and once you get the monkey off your back, all that stuff, then... Uh, um, you know, we played pretty well for about two and a half quarters. Defensively, played well the whole game. And that's what it takes. And, uh, you know, it's good to see. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting there going, oh, yeah, we're cool. No, I'm, I'm sweating like you guys. But uh, um, at the end of the day, uh, I thought defensively and Gerald and then Chris and guys contributed. Yeah, I thought so. I, I do that. So you mentioned game after game one that things happened that Without a doubt, and again, offensively we were just okay. I thought uh, we can play a lot better, and and but if we can withstand, you know, Chris having a bad game the first one, James on the second one, then you know things are pretty good. Coach Max Edison, Houston defender. Sunday we talked about. Call Anthony Towns is only eight points, and we knew they weren't trying to get him off early. But our rotation between the May and uh, Capella, and then switching him, uh, just talk about the defense that was played on uh, on Carl Anthony five points tonight instead of eight. Well. You know, great players like that, they, they do have off. Now, he's a big focus for us, and uh, we can run multiple guys at him, and we try to run him on the offensive end to tire him out. And then Nene comes in, and he's got a lot of muscle on him, and, you know, we're just trying to wear him out as much as we can, knowing that, I mean, he could explode on Tuesday night, and but he's an all-star, and he's a great player. But uh, we've had some success so far, but, you know, we won't think that's us so much as just having a bad game like, you know, James is – Two for 18. So, not that they do something different, it's just not having a great game. Yeah, I think so. And I, you know, now I'd be very surprised if. You know, again, first couple games, and it's almost a blessing. I was talking, talking to somebody that we struggled the first game because a lot of times you come out that first game, you, you win by a lot because you're so ready to roll, and that second game makes it really tough. I thought because we struggled in the first game and and they had us, or a lot of the part of it, we came out a little bit more focused, especially defensively, and it weathered the storm until we got our offense rolling. So, you know, you never know when a bad thing is actually a good thing and if you just – do what we do, but hopefully it does. Now I don't, you know, I'll tell you Saturday night whether it helps us or not. We've got to play a little bit better. We can't just keep playing. You know, we've, we've like I said, it was a little bit better today, but we can go up another notch. Jim Davis, Can you talk more just about your defense? It's one of the things I know you can focus it on. Um, is it, is it continue to improve? Is it where you want it to be? I mean, I know it always gets better, but can you talk about just where you are defensively? Well, Jeff Bizdog does a great job, first of all, and he keeps them all accountable, and he is, uh, you know, a real stickler for details. And and 
that's half of it. The other half, the players buy in. The other half, the players want to do it. You're not going to, you can't do it without both. And they're doing a great job. And we've got some individually very good defenders. And when you do that, it's kind of contagious. And they all want to win. And we've just preached to them that if you're going to do it, we have to do it on the defensive end because offensively, we're as good as anybody. Can we be good enough defensively? And you know, we had a goal to get in the top five, and uh, we got five or six. And we got, you know, at the end of the year, we were getting better. I think from All Star break, like we're third, and uh, it's just really important. But it's credit to Jeff and the players, and they did, they're doing a heck of a job. Yeah. Well, we just, we just told them that, you know, it's um, first of all, the series doesn't start until somebody loses on home floor. So we did what we're supposed to do. We held serve, now it's on them. That's one. And then whether you win or lose, we're going to try to stay even kill. And we've always gone all year with the motto of, you know, so what, what's next? And so what, we're up 2 oh, so what? You know, can we win Saturday? And that's going to be our mindset. And we're going to try everything we can to win Saturday. Um, it could. I don't know. It's a good question. I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> I, I don't know if they got us ready. We haven't played very well so far. So, you know, but it will be, it'll be crazy if they haven't been in the playoffs for a long time. So I expect it to be uh, a very loud crowd. And we've got to do our part and play defense and take the crowd out of it. But uh, we've got to be ready for all they got. Whatever they got left, we're going to get it uh, full throttle right when we get on that floor to start the game. Yeah, he you know he's always playing good defense, and he leaked out a couple, got a couple layups, kind of broke him up a little bit, and then he hit a couple threes, which he's he and a bunch of guys haven't been making. So I was happy for him to see the ball go through the net, but he's he's really important what we do, and you know I can play him 34, 35 minutes. He doesn't get tired. There's a lot of good things that he brings to the table.